What's up guys? So I figured why not do a tutorial on my bronze glowy but not greasy makeup look for on camera which really could be like any time of the day but I use the Naked palette so we're going to be using this today mixed with a couple other stuff but if you have this, this is like one of the best palettes out there to me. But um, normally I use this to prime my face. You know I love the Baby Skin by Maybelline. That's if I want like a full on matte look. But if I want it to be like a glow within, this is what I use. The Becca Backlight Primer. I love this stuff. So much so that I don't think there's enough left for me to pump it. Don't you hate that when you start pumping it? And you're like, no, I have to open the lid. And this is a primer, but I also love to use this stuff when I'm just running around doing errands and I have no makeup on. I just put this on and like, look at the glow that it gives you. It's amazing. It literally looks like a glow within. Like, that's how to describe it. Today, I'm not using a sponge. I'm gonna be using the oldie but a goodie, the Morphe M439. This is the one that you put foundation on with because it's definitely a much denser brush. I think this gives you more full coverage than the Beauty Blender or a Beauty Sponge. That's just me. Um, I spray tan myself if you watched the other video before this. And I have to go in with warm beige because Mama Beast tan. Even though my face never picks up color that well. Can you guys tell that I'm sick? Yeah, it's not cute. I am using this Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline Concealer, and I actually use Light Pale. I probably could have gone a little darker, but I did not. So now it just looks like we're very bright in Kim Kardashian. Best brush to use to blend in your under eye that's really gentle is this IT Cosmetics brush. It's very stipply with the smaller end and then this is great for powder to set your under eyes after. Sometimes it's hard to blend under your under eye just because as you get older you have those fine lines, you have those wrinkles. Um, so I like to warm the product up afterwards and really melt it in the skin with my fingertip. That's just a pro tip that I use. I know my sister feels the same way. Time to set the face. You know I love this Stay Matte um, Translucent Powder. This is in Transparent. They come in a couple different colors. This is by Rimmel. I got this at CVS. It's so finely milled that when you put it on, you can barely tell that you have powder on your face. That's why I love it. Because sometimes powder can just make your face look so old, aged. So I'm going in with Too Faced. As you can tell, I like Too Faced a lot. This is the Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Bronzer. I was going to get deep, but then I'm like, that ain't your color. That is not your color. Really get the forehead. Y'all need to go see... Tati, if you guys have not heard of Tati on YouTube, go check out her video with Scott Barnes. Scott Barnes is JLo's makeup artist. The most amazing transformation. It was so awesome to watch. But he's all about bringing this bronzer almost all the way down. So like really keeping a triangle of like white and then the outer rim bronzed up. Really blend, get your ears. When it comes to blush, when you're doing like the bronzed look like we're gonna be doing, I like to keep it very peachy and corally. I think it's better that way than too pink. And keep it to the apples of your cheeks so it actually gives you a much younger look. This is a step that you can skip or you can buy one from the drugstore, these paint pots. Maybelline and L'Oreal have paint pots um, that are like a bronze color, so you can go for something like that, and definitely it's way more affordable. But I'm using Charlotte Tilbury's paint pot, 
And I think these are the Eyes to Mesmerize in the color Betty. This just makes your eyes pop. Like I have green eyes and I love putting this as the base coat. That's how you gotta look at it. And I put it on, sometimes in the summer when I'm only wearing this color, I'll use my fingertips. But because it's gonna be the base coat, I wanna be more precise and put it on with a brush. Now we're gonna go into the Naked palette. This is one of my most favorite palettes because you can do so many looks with this. As you can tell, I've used so many of these colors. I've hit pan with a lot of this stuff, so I can't even go back. But we are going to set that because that is very like creamy and moussey, so we wanna set it with a powder. I'm gonna use the color Half Baked. I'm gonna mix the color Naked and Buck. They're the two lighter brown shades, if you can see it, the two lighter brown shades. So it's just a neutral brown, honestly. So now that I smoke that out, I'm taking a more definer brush that's pretty fluffy at the end. It's dense, but it definitely has some give and movement. And I'm gonna take that naked color and that buck color again, and we're just gonna smoke out the bottom because I don't put eyeliner on the bottom of my eyes. So this will be almost like a natural eyeliner. And don't be afraid to bring this color down just a little bit more than you would think. A lot of people stick so tight next to their waterline, but to get that smoked out look, you do wanna bring it, drag it down just a little bit. If you wanted more of a nighttime smoky look, cause this is really daytime to me, I would go in with Smog and Dark Horse. They're like a deep bronze color, if you can see that. It's like a very deep bronze color and I would just do the outer corners of your eye. But that is it from this palette. Now on to the brows. Anastasia Beverly Hills Perfect Brow Pencil. I use the pencil, I don't like the like retractable one. Um, and I use soft brown. So I have like dirty blonde hair, but my eyebrows are definitely a little bit darker. Again, I do not add any volume to my eyebrows. I stick to the shape. And if anything, I just extend the tails just because mine are so short. So I lengthen them if anything. Key to making your eyebrows look natural, fill them in how you want and then brush, brush, brush pretty harsh through them. And that blends that pencil out really nicely. After this, I'm gonna go get lash extensions, which I never said that I would do. And I um, started losing my lashes. I told you guys that in another video. And so I'm like, what do I have to lose? Literally nothing. And now on to the lips, because when it comes to lips and you have a smoky eye, I like to keep it super neutral. I don't like to go pale. I like to just stick with my lip color. So I use the color Peekaboo Neutral in NYX. And when it comes to overlining your lips, the more you stick with a color that's close to your lip color, the more natural it's going to look and people are gonna be like, oh my God, they're so pouty and full. So that is my tip. Always stick with the color that's close to your lip color and then you can outline the sides of your lips. And I take that color all the way in, almost as if this is my lipstick too. I want a more glossy look to it. So I'm using Purr by MAC Cosmetics. Anyone who's around my age, remember like when you were like 13, 14 and Purr was like the color to get. And then if you could have a little bit more color, you'd get Cultured, which has like a tint of purple into it. Those were the days. 
This is still, I think, the best color that MAC has. All right, y'all. So this is the final look. I hope you like this look. This is actually one of my favorite go-to looks I used to do all the time. And now I'm wearing it, I'm like, why don't I do this? I need to pull this naked palette out more. It is seriously the best palette. If you don't have a makeup palette yet and you wanna like dip your toe into the water, that's the best one to get. It just, you can do so many looks with it. Um, but yeah, anyways, very feminine, very girly, but the bronze pops out any eye color. I hope you guys enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Comment down below any other videos you wanna see. Otherwise, have a great day.